You want chocolate chips? Yeah. Maybe. And I want Let's not let other people know that I'm letting you just eat those that I want it's 10 30 in the morning. Okay, so today I'm going to tell you how I use the Revlon 2-in-1 round brush blow dryer. I want to show you specifically how I use it because this is not how I start out doing my hair when I'm blow drying it. So, I want to show you the steps that I take and also only using two products. Sometimes products can become overwhelming, so I kind of want to sh just show you that you can simplify it. You don't have to have a million things. Um, I'm just going to show you some of my favorite stuff to use. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel. Um, my sister and I like to do beauty, hair, momming, you know, like anything when it comes to being a mother. We all know how hard that is, um, especially Ashley. She struggles a lot. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. Also like this video. Um, no, never mind. All you need is a hair clip. I'm going to use the Moroccan oil to put on my hair before I start blow drying. Also the Nexus Comb Through Finishing Mist, which is awesome for volume and just regular brush if you need it. I also will use just a regular blow dryer to start out with. So let's get started. First, I am going to do just a little bit of Moroccan oil. I use the Moroccan oil before I start to blow dry my hair and you just need a tiny bit. Guys, this stuff is awesome. It smells amazing. And I like to just put it through my hair, through my ends especially. Helps keep the hair healthy, soft, and we'll just protect it from that heat. Okay, next I am going to blow dry my hair a little bit. You don't want to just start right off with the round brush because it's going to make it so much harder. Simplify it, make your life easier, use a regular blow dryer just to get some of that moisture out of your hair, especially out of the roots and the ends. So when I First blow dry my hair, I'm normally standing up. Mama, daddy has a show. Okay. Well, we'll turn her show up. <laughs> if you are like me and you have a calic in the back, which is super annoying to cover, um, just make sure, I'll show you what I do when I try to keep my hair going back so that that calic doesn't pop out. Okay, so for the calic, doesn't this look so good? I know, don't be jealous of my hair. So for the calic, what I like to do is I grab a chunk of the hair in the back. Just grab a chunk in the back, and my calic always is right about right here. And I just hold that tight and blow dry the roots. Basically just blow drying those roots back, trying to force them to stay back to um, fight that super annoying calic. Um, okay, so I am done with this. I have gotten a lot of moisture out of my hair. It's almost dry. Um, this is gonna make this part so much easier, so much faster. So again, this is perfect for if you, especially if you don't know how to round brush your hair, learning how to round brush your own hair with a blow dryer and round brush is incredibly difficult and it takes so much practice. So I wanna ask you, do you know how to round brush your hair with a blow dryer and round brush? Put one in the comments below if you do, two if you do not. I, I'm thinking of doing some more videos and teaching how to round brush your hair in different ways because I love the look of just round brushed hair. There are two, actually three settings. There is cool, there is low, and there is high. I just put on it on straight to high when I am doing mine. So I have parted my hair. I'm gonna part my hair in three different sections. So right now is my first section and I'm doing it right about the top of where my ear is. We're gonna get started. Also, I'm gonna tell you why I have my hair parted down the middle. I typically do not. I'm gonna tell you why. It's a trick for volume. So I have it on high. And so
Okay, so as you can see from how my frizzy my hair was before, um, it's pretty smooth here at the bottom. So now I'm doing my second section and I'm doing it kind of right where your, I don't know, forehead is, or you know, crap. Whatever this is right here, I don't know the term right now, but part it right there. So I'm on my next section. As you can see, there is a handle right here, so you can go under, and I like to go in different directions. That also helps it blow dry faster, and I don't always like it to look just so perfectly like a huge, you know, bob going under. I like it to kind of be more of a natural flow. Okay, so obviously you guys can tell a difference between my frizzy natural hair and how smooth it gets when I am using this round brush. Huge difference. Okay, so now my hair is still parted in the middle and this is what I'm going to do. So, see, so yeah, I mean look, look at this. This is how my hair literally naturally looks. So, I wasn't blessed with that silky hair. Now we're going to start at the top. I like to just split this. Right now it's in the middle. I'm gonna part just a little bit over. And so I'm still kind of getting another section here. And I'm gonna go back to high. Okay, and I'm going to show you also a trick that I do in the front, so pay attention when I am round brushing the front. This is something that I, I personally just like to do. This is not something you have to do, uh, but if you have kind of, if you're growing out your bangs, or even if you don't have bangs, or even if you have shorter bangs, this is a way that you can round brush your bangs. Also notice that when I am, especially when I'm doing my top section, I'm really um, pulling the hair a different direction. I am, there is a more proper word to use, a proper term, but I can't think of it right now. You want to over direct, over direct the hair. See, I'm so smart. Um, you want to over direct the hair the other way, really at the root, and really that really is gonna help with some volume. See, and if you don't want your hair to look curled underneath, like you don't want the bob look, um, like I've been doing, go in different directions. Go up, go up, to the side. Okay, so here's gonna be an example of how I do the front.
Okay, and as per tradition, I'm gonna do a little hair shake. If you haven't seen my video on the best way to use purple shampoo to tone your hair, make sure you do that. I'll have that pop up somewhere here. Uh, but that is like the best way to at home, if you're getting a little bit of yellow tones, orangey tones, um, get some purple shampoo, watch that video of mine, works the best. What I'm going to do to help with volume is I am going to actually part my hair where I usually part it. I usually part my hair over the, on this side. But because I had it parted in the middle, this was over directed so much this way that I'm going to have some great volume today right here which is usually what I go for because volume is usually something I really have to work for. So that is one of the tricks that I use. Another trick for volume is the comb through finishing mist. I love this because this is how I use it. I go under the roots a little bit. So I'm going to pull up like a section in the back. I'm going to spray underneath and push it up and spray up on top. And I'm just going to kind of work it. And what this is doing is it is basically making it so it's not super silky up here. So when you, you know, when you play with it a little bit, it's going to stay. You know how a lot of times um, your second day of hair is better than the first day after washing it? It's because it's a little bit dirtier. It's a little bit easier to work with and your hair will stay um, put. It will stay more where you want it. So. Like literally, you can just use this spray for volume. And it's light, it's not heavy, it's not going to make your hair feel crunchy, it smells good. I'm, I love Nexus. I think that they're awesome. And they also have this in a travel size. So when you are traveling, take this. Um, a couple tricks you can use if you still feel like your ends are a little bit dry looking. You can put a little bit more Moroccan oil on your ends, just a tiny bit to smooth those out. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that it helped. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video. What else did I forget? Bunny, let's get chocolate chips now. Yeah, I'll get you chocolate chips. We'll get you chocolate chips. And then there's a Let me say hi. Hi. <laughs> Okay, stay tuned for other videos from Ashley and I. I want to talk more about deep conditioning, curling your hair. So we're going to have a lot of videos coming up, so look for those. And it will be easier if you are just subscribed to our channel. So that you can just see them. It'll just pop up, pop up on your stuff. I don't know. It's technology. I don't know how it works.